Nebraska.
Please welcome Christian Viefers, Team Leader Public Relations Central Europe Open Platform Business Group. Hello everyone, welcome here to Cologne, Germany. It's our very first um, RG press event uh, since 2019, a long time ago, right? So, my name is Chris from RG Germany and I'm honored to be your host today. Um, Gamescom is back and we are back with our first physical event here in Germany since 2019. We have excited news to share from RG with you, you the RG community. I'm very happy uh, you have all joined us here tonight. Um, no matter if you watch the live stream all around the globe or you are here in Cologne with us. Some, maybe all of you, uh, of, more of, <laughs> some if not all of you, may have heard that AMD, our long-term partner, is preparing something very huge. You want to see what AMD has to share with you? Okay, then welcome on stage, AMD. Please welcome Martijn Boonstra, Thank Channel you Desktop CPU oh. Product and Business Development Manager, AMD Client Business Unit. All right. First of all, thank you very much, Chris, for the introduction, and thank you all for joining us today. It's super exciting to see very familiar faces in the room as well. Finally, a Gamescom in person again. Uh, great stuff to talk about, whether you're a gamer, hardware enthusiast, and so much more. So, uh, as Chris mentioned, we are working on something huge. Um, and that something is obviously our Ryzen portfolio. So uh, within the Ryzen portfolio, you may have seen several announcements already from our team, from our CEO at Computex. Um, very, very exciting times, um, not only from when we saw AM4 really develop into this multi-generation stronghold of a socket where uh, gamers and enthusiasts can really enjoy uh, next level gaming, next level performance, and some unique designs, whether it's Zen, Zen 2 or Zen 3, uh, we are now moving, obviously, uh, forward with the introduction of our new Zen 4 architecture and, obviously, continuing to drive our ever goal of um, generating more performance for the gamers, more uh, uh, connectivity options, and so on. So, at the heart of this, you will find Ryzen 7000 series um, with the Zen 4 architecture, as I mentioned. Um, our goal is to deliver next-level performance uh, a couple of changes that we've made so far on Zen 4 against Zen 3, which is already a leading architecture in the industry, is that we now have doubled the L2 cache. So for more throughput on the CPU per core, uh, we've also increased the core frequency well over 5 gigahertz. So all of that combined with the Zen, 3, uh, Zen 4 architecture with the optimized process nodes from our partner TSMC at 5 nanometer, uh, you will see a performance uplift of over 15% this generation uh, which will be uh, fantastic for gamers, uh, for hardware enthusiasts, and everybody really into the mainstream desktop platform. Um, so if you look at under the lid, basically what Zen 4 is, uh, we continue with that leading packaging design, chiplet cores, uh, chiplet architectures, uh, 5 nanometer optimized process, as we mentioned, and obviously moving to a new I.O. design as well. First time ever, 6 nanometer. Uh, first time ever to introduce RDNA to GPU cores as well into the Ryzen 7000 series CPUs. And uh, just a lot of connectivity options through moving to DDR5, uh, moving to PCIe Gen 5, whether it's graphics or fast storage. Uh, anything that the future holds basically for the platform, we are ready with the AM5 platform and the uh, chipsets that will come with it. So very, very exciting to be talking about Zen obviously today and with the new uh, products called Ryzen 7000 series. So I already touched on a little bit um, what we have today. Um, moving from a BJ to a LGA socket uh, allows us to create more performance, uh, to deliver more performance for those enthusiasts, uh, but also to really make sure that we support next generation uh, DDR5, PCIe Gen 5 and everything uh, that is needed to make this uh, socket future proof again. So about connectivity, um, 24 P PCIe Gen 5 lanes, both on graphics and uh, on storage, supported on the all-new AM5 platform, up to 14, gigabit, uh, 14 ports of 20 gigabit uh, USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2. Um, Wi-Fi 6E, blazing fast internet for when you're gaming on the go, for example, and you don't have a wi wired connection available, um, and up to uh, 4 HDMI 2.1 and DisplayPort uh, 2 uh, ports as well. Um, Talking about storage, talking about the next-gen uh, platform, uh, 
when graphics cards will arrive, obviously with PCIe Gen 5, we're looking very much uh, forward to that. But at the same time, we're looking very much forward to next-gen NVMe storage devices. Uh, we've partnered with Fison, um, together with other partners as well, making sure that we are ready for the next-gen uh, PCIe Gen 5 storage, uh, being able to deliver up to 60% faster sequential read speeds coming from the platform, which basically means faster loading of games and applications. So any gamer out there looking for a fast uh, loading of their games will be um, looking forward to the AM5 platform for sure. Um, with that platform, as I mentioned, we will also introduce new chipsets to the market. The big uh, enthusiast chipset will be the X670 Extreme, uh, unparalleled capabilities, um, extreme overclocking options, full PCIe Gen 5 support, both on graphics and NVMe, as I mentioned, um, M.2 slots, plenty of those supported with PCIe Gen 5 as well. And then for the bulk of the gamers looking to build systems but are into the enthusiast segments, want a platform that's future-proof, uh, we will also introduce X670 boards. And our friends at ASUS will have a few of them on display here today. So I advise you to all in the room uh, to be uh, checking those out in person. They're looking absolutely fantastic. So two examples of those boards are on the screen here today. The ASUS ROG Crosshair X670E Extreme and the ASUS ROG Crosshair X670E Hero. So two magnificent boards, whether it's uh, gaming, whether it's extreme overclocking you're looking for, ASUS will always have you covered, and we're very excited to be launching AM5 with them together. So um, I would obviously would like to show you a lot more. Um, unfortunately, I can't yet, I'll be honest. But we do have a save the date out there for August 29th with more information to learn everything else about Ryzen 7000 series. Um, not, uh, nothing more basically to, um, to um, consider when you're looking for the best of the best gaming platform. So Ryzen 7000 series, look out for that announcement on the August 29th. Um, and again, very excited to be here. And thanks to you all for joining here. And thanks to the folks online joining in as well. Um, I wish you a, a great time at Gamescom. So. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. Um, RG is committed to offer the best performance in the most accessible way since we launched our very first RG motherboard. We expanded our gaming environment to a strong ecosystem from aesthetics or to technologies. That enables our users to access brand new technologies immediately instead of in, um, waiting for different endpoints come together. So today, our event theme is have it all, and you will get it all, I promise. We will bring you our flashing our ecosystem from the latest AMD platform motherboards and components. They go perfectly with our latest Wi-Fi 6E gaming routers and gaming monitors to complete your dream gaming environment. Let's start with the X670E motherboards. We will show you our complete X670E gaming mainboard lineup uh, very soon, today. Before Gamescom, many of you saw probably the already the boards, uh, Martin already mentioned, XF70E uh, series motherboards from ROG, the Crosshair Extreme, and the popular Hero, and also the Strix E and the uh, Tough Gaming. And maybe you have also noticed Prime Pro and Pro Art motherboards in our video we just played. Uh, before we unreal more uh, models, I would like to introduce you to serious spanning features. And for the first, I would like to welcome our long-term friend, tech expert, overclocking expert, and tech YouTuber, Roman der Bauer Hartung. Hi, Roman. Hey, uh, thanks for having me. And uh, hey, everybody. Very happy to see a lot of very familiar faces that I missed over the last two or three years. So very happy that you're all here. And uh, very happy to be part of this. And there are some very exciting, especially two very exciting features we definitely have to talk about. And that's why we are talking about them a bit more in detail. So if you played around with X570 and specifically with the Crosshair 8 Dark Hero, you might be familiar with the Dynamic OC Switcher. 
when you want to overclock or get a bit more performance out of an AMD Ryzen CPU, specifically talking about Ryzen 5000, because you know I cannot spoil the 7000, but um, if you want to uh, get a bit more performance out of the 5000 series CPUs, you had basically two very easy options. First would be the AMD PBO, which is tuning the AMD factors by default, so you can get a bit more boost here and there, but if you want to do serious multi-threading overclocking, most people just did plain multi-core optimization, which means you are adjusting your core clock of the CPU. But if you do this, your CPU will enter the OC mode, and then you will lose boost. You don't have the boost clock anymore. And that's why ASUS introduced the dynamic OC switcher, which allowed to keep both. You were having a very high single core boost, and at the same time, you could do multi-core overclocking. And the same thing will come to the X670 boards and to the entire lineup, which is great. Yeah. Because previously, it was a very exclusive feature only to the Dark Hero. Um, for me, it was fine because I had a board, but um, just looking at price performance, it's great that we have it on the entire lineup now. And that's what you can get. That's the result we had on the 5950X. As I said before, I cannot spoil the Ryzen 7000 performance, but it will just work exactly the same. So you have a threshold if the CPU passes this threshold set in current, for example, then you will get higher multi-core clock or very high single core performance. So that will be the same for Ryzen 7000. And there is one more feature. It's the Ryzen Core Flex. And that is something more for the enthusiasts. If you think that the dynamic OC switcher is cool, I can tell you this is even cooler because it gives you free algorithms you can program yourself. Basically, you have some input values you can set. You can set different levels, different thresholds. Just want to give you one example. So you define two levels. In the state one, your CPU stays below 70 degrees Celsius, for example, and you allow your CPU the full power draw. And then you have an AIO, maybe a 240 AIO, and at a certain point, it reaches saturation of the cooling. And once it exceeds a certain temperature, then you can tell the CPU, A, maybe consume a little bit less power. And you can do this for different stages. You can set the, uh, the temperature, you can set different fre uh, frequencies, different voltage, uh, current, you can even set B clock. So there are a lot of things you can do to tune your AMD Ryzen CPU to the max. And I can tell you, that's going to be really exciting and a huge step forward also in performance. So I'm very looking forward to see this in action. Okay. Thank you very much, Roman. We will see you back again tomorrow for the ROG FanFest. And uh, we will, yeah, you can tune in at 4, 4 p.m. CEST tomorrow and we will see uh, Roman again. Thank you very much and you. see you to again tomorrow. As Roman mentioned, um, one of the um, yeah, m most comments from the tech community about the dynamic OC switcher was bring this feature to more models than just one. So we heard the community and all series of ASUS and ROG motherboards will feature dynamic OC switcher for AM5 series. Um, coming to um, the cooling. Um, the cooler market is packed with diverse um, solutions to fit every type of user's need. Um, and ASUS motherboards provide fan control options for experts all the way to new recruits. We are always looking for making tuning process uh, simpler and more intuitive. This is why ASUS introduced AI cooling back in 2020. AI cooling is um, activated with uh, just one single click and um, then continually monitors the CPU temperature. Uh, when the temperature um, stays at the same temperature for two to three uh, minutes, it will uh, reduce the fan speed without um, increasing the CPU temperature by up to five Celsius, right? Um, this is great, uh, but we want to re reduce the time um, for the delay um, for the next generation. So we worked out um, um, the new AI Cooling 2, which runs the system stress and provides an optimized fan curve that is used all times without any delays, right? So you save a lot of time. You don't need to, or the automatic 
feature doesn't need to be re redo all the um, tuning again. But AI cool, cooling 2 is just one part of our overall ecosystem to optimize system performance and efficiency. We will introduce more features very soon, so stay tuned for more. RG AI coolers perfectly complements your system with the RG motherboard. We offer AI coolers from 120 up to 360 millimeter size, with compatibility to all current CPU circuits. 28 models from our lineup are already compatible with AM5, and more will be soon. Long lifespan and compatibility are essentially for our ecosystem, allowing users to have a wider range of choice to fit their new PC builds. So we are pleased to introduce you something new the AIO, in the AIO lineup from us, the brand new RG Rio 3 series. There are two SKUs, uh, including the RG Rio Gen 240 and 360 RAGB, to satisfy the needs of different users. Any metrics uh, display you may know from our products like motherboards, keyboards, headsets, notebooks. Indeed, now it's time for Rio, Gen 3, uh, Rio 3 to join the uh, enemy metrics ecosystem. Um, the latest generation of RC Tech liquid cooling solution continues the trend to providing the ultimate plug and play performance for users. Let's take a look at the upgrades RC Tech has made for their latest generation. First, the new um, squared code plate has a 32% increased cooling area, which completely covers AM5 CPUs. Second, the three-phase motor pump provides higher airflow rates and lower impedance. Third, the diameter of the tubing has been upgraded from 5 to 7 millimeters compared to the previous generation, and the radiator can hold up 42% um, more capacity. In our testing, these upgrades deliver two, um, two, um, two Celsius lower temperatures for every 100 watts heat load. So the new pump enables cooler and quieter operations. Some boards you may have seen already, so um, I'm not going more into the detail. We have the Extreme, the Hero, which are full-size motherboards, um, which offer the best expandability and cutting edge spec. But you may have asked, where are micro ATX, mini ITX motherboards? Okay, waiting time is over now. So here's our, our all new RG um, Crosshair X670E Gene. This is the very first micro ATX motherboard in the RG Crosshair series for AMD platform. Delivers robust power solution with 16 plus 2 power stages, 120 amps each. That allows you to overclock basically every Ryzen CPU that will come up. Um, with PCIe Gen 5 slots for graphic card and storage, it has plenty of bandwidth for upcoming devices. One of my per uh, personal uh, highlights is the um, RG Gen Z.2 card. It's, um, you made it from the previous generations uh, under the slightly different name. You just have an extra add-on card. You can put it out, install the SSD on it, attach the cooler, and just slide it right in the slot like a memory module. So especially if you are a very packed uh, system in small factor PCs, it's very convenient to upgrade CPUs and install them. But not installing is easier with this card. Also, the M.2 cooler will be put directly in the airflow of the, your um, um, chassis fan, right? So it offers you more cooler cooling performance. OK, now one very good. Do you all agree that USB names are quite difficult to say? OK, <laughs> uh, using USB um, 2.3 Gen 2, 2 by 2, um, Type-C with quick charge for plus uh, allows you to charge your smart device with up to 60 watts. Um, and it will support current um, um, chassis on the market and also our upcoming chassis. We won't read it today, but very soon. Going even smaller in terms of size, um, we don't forget our ITX fans, right? So here's our smallest RG motherboard, the RG Strix X670E-I gaming Wi-Fi. 
AMD's new double chipset design um, for the XX70 series requires a rethinking of motherboard design. And even with more, it's more challenging when it comes to mini ITX form factor due to the smaller footprint, right? Um, to overcome this limitation, um, we have developed a brand new chipset card, which not only overcomes the spacing restriction, but also allows you to directly run short traces to the second M.2 slot for top performance. We also introduce a reflective nameplate to give the board a flashy look from all angles. With the Strix I, we have redesigned our power layout to incorporate a large backplate and a big heatsink with active cooling at the front, which combines to keep VRM temperatures under control. This design also allows us to incorporate a pre-mounted I.O. shield, um, resulting in a more premium build. The ROG front panel um, SATA card on Z690i was very received by reviewers and users all around the world. So for the second generation, we have also included more DIY features um, to give users more options. It offers more uh, mode switch for legacy expansion cards, CPU over voltage header, and an additional USB 2 header for AIOs. Just to mention some of the features. Connectivity and access to switches and headers can be tricky in small form factor PCs, right? Um, RG Hive is our answer to transferring many fan favorite um, gaming features such as flex key, USB flashback, and QLED to an external device for better accessibility. It also extends audio connectivity with headphone and mic jacks as well as an optical SPDIF out and even gives you a volume control knob with a mute button. In case you want to further extend your connectivity, we also offer USB 3.2 and 2.0 ports with USB BIOS flashback. A box with all important keys and connectors right in your hand. Have it all at your fingertips. Having a so small uh, yet so powerful motherboard, you need the matching power supply, right? Um, this brings us directly to our upcoming small form factor power supply series from ROG, ROG Loki SFXL Platinum. This design has many elements shared with his big brother, the ROG Thor. So the Aura Sync fans and logos integrate Loki seamlessly into your lighting concept. The lineup will also include models from 850 watts all up to 1200 watts, which is the first, world's first and just an incredible amount of power in such small footprint. The Loki 850 watt will be the first model to be released and available very soon. Today, we can also confirm that the 850 watt series um, version is PCI Express 5 ready and fully compliant with ATX 3.0. And it has Cybernetics Age certification, which guarantees you the silent uh, operation under every load situation. We are really looking forward to the ultra-powerful rigs users will build with these low-key PSUs and ROG motherboards. Cooling and power supply is crucial for PC builders, right? So, um, but on the other hand, networking is a very important part of the overall experience as well. Lags, disconnects, whatever you can name it, uh, will always harm your gameplay, right? Um, RG motherboards come with up to 10 gigabits uh, Ethernet and Wi-Fi 6E on board. Our ecosystem will bring you all the latest networking tech, no matter if you are wired, wireless, or mi a mix of both, right? To present you the latest product update in our full range Wi-Fi lineup, I would like to welcome Sabrina from our networking business unit to the stage. Please welcome Sabrina Hua, product manager of networking business unit. Guten Tag, wie geht es Ihnen? My name is Sabrina. I am the product manager for ROG Gaming Router. When we talk about routers, what comes to your mind? Let me guess, the iconic spider design? Or maybe it's just a box that was left in an unknown cabin? In any case, Wi-Fi has become almost essential to life as we know it. 
and the R2 gaming routers are great for gamers and for everyone else in the family who wants a reliable and strong connection. Today, I'm happy to announce the first tri-band ROG Mesh Wi-Fi system. The ROG Rapture GT6 is the latest addition to the Rapture series and is the perfect all-around Wi-Fi solution. The GT6 comes with offers up to 10,000 megabit per second Wi-Fi speed, a 2.5 gigabit ports, and LAN aggregation. Whether you are connecting with your PS5 or wirelessly with your smart TV, GT6 takes your gaming and entertainment capability of your whole home network to the next level. The ROG Rapture GT6 comes in two colors, black and the moonlight white edition. The black version, matte finish and sleek design offers a futuristic aesthetic. On the other hand, if the gamers prefer some minimalist look, the Moonlight White Edition prefer a pristine and clean aesthetic. Each model features an interesting hexagonal chassis with vents that employ a classic slash pattern. The ROG logo on the face place is made up of RGB LEDs that are customizable with Aura software. And on the top and bottom, there are fence openings that are aligned with internal heat sinks to aid thermal dissipation. And let's talk about antennas. In a router that's small in size, most competitor devices have a maximum of eight antennas. But GT6 has nine internal antennas. The GT6 each position to maximize the coverage. And to deliver the best backhaul performance, the GT6, the GT6 also the, with the additional antenna is also called smart. And it's to dynamically adjust the signal based on direction. And each GT6 unit features a 1.7 gigahertz tri-core CPU and the latest Broadcom Wi-Fi chipset ensuring there's plenty of processing power. And when deployed as a mesh network, the GT6 can leverage exclusive ASUS Range Boost Plus technology to provide up to 5,800 square feet of high-performance Wi-Fi coverage. The GT6 will be available in a both a two-pack solution for users that want Wi-Fi 6 around the house, or a one-pack solution for users that have an AI mesh compatible router that want to upgrade their network. Gamers can look forward for this model around Q4. Now, for serious gamers, I'd like to pivot and talk about another amazing solution for you. This router has a 6 gigahertz band that's dedicated solely to gaming. So you can connect without any interference from other devices. The ROG Rapture GTAXE 16000 is the world's first quad-band Wi-Fi 6E gaming router. And it's the pinnacle of home networking. Offering speeds of up to 16,000 megabit per second, a 2.0 gigahertz quad-core CPU, and quad-band configuration that's enabled to ensure more flexible ASUS AI mesh option from the home. Alongside, we've included dual 10 gigabit WLAN ports, a 2.5 gigabit WAN port, and 4.1 gigabit LAN ports that provide ultimate wired versatility. And even the authentic on, with also has been upgraded with an infinity mirror on its top, which creates a cool visual effect that you can customize with ASUS uh, Oracle software. With all of this, the ROG Rapture GTXE 16000 is the most potent gaming router in the world, and it's already available in the Europe. So, 
I hope you enjoyed the last five minutes with us. If you are looking for stable Wi-Fi for a smart home full of devices, the GT6 is ideal. And if you want to deploy a latest 60 gigahertz standard, GT XZ 16000 deliver a cutting edge performance. Each of these feature pack router include exclusive ROG software with with free network security, parental control, and gaming features. Pair them with the latest Asus X670E motherboard, laptop, and ROG Phone 6. You will enjoy a complete Wi-Fi 6 ecosystem. Gamer, choose your path. Good luck and have fun. Vielen Dank und auf Wiedersehen. Thank you very much, Sabrina. Um, yeah, as we have now the cover, uh, the covered the hardware, which does all, all the background computing. Um, we are now at the point to talk about the devices that actually let you see what's done in the background, right? SD monitors are the interconnect between you and your PC. Picture quality, response time, size are just some of the key specs when choosing the right monitor for you. Before we welcome Paul from our monitor business unit to the stage, let's check out the new products and technologies first. Please welcome Paul Kuo, Product Manager of Display Business Unit. Good afternoon, everyone. And I am Paul, and I'm so great to see you face to face. I believe that after this event, you will truly see how you can have it all with amazing new monitors ROG is offering. Early this year at CES 2022, ROG announced our first OLED series gaming monitors. And these monitors will be arriving in store soon. So today, I will share more details about exciting new features they will bring to the market. Before digging to the sound of unique user-friendly features of ROG OLED gaming monitors, let's look at specs. Our OLED gaming monitors come in two sizes, 42-inch PG42UQ and 48-inch PG48UQ. Both feature 4K OLED panel with anti glare micro texture coding and can be overclocked to 138Hz. And taking full advantage of OLED technology, they can provide amazing true to life colors, extreme breaks, and factory pre-calibration for great color accuracy and their amazing contrast ratios delivers astonishing HDR performance. Along with exceptional performance, our OLED monitors offer very special ROG features for PC gamers. Many of you already know that OLED panels are sensitive to heat for better longevity and performance. We have added heat sinks to our critical component on PCB which can help to keep this way cool at all times. And on this slide, we check the operating temperature of ROG OLED gaming monitors with heat sinks versus other OLED display without heat sinks. Then we got some results. Our ROG OLED gaming monitors operate 
Around five degrees Celsius lower than other OLED displays. And with OLED panels, there's also something known as auto brightness limiter, aka ABL. Many gamers and desktop users are not fans of this limit. When fire or bright content increases, the illumination level will gradually decrease. But how do you offer a solution to this issue? We have added an optional uniform brightness setting like a sensible valor OS menu. When you turn this function on, even if the window size is changed, the luminance will maintain at a consistent level. For all you cross-platform gamers out there who want to enjoy AAA games with amazing scenes, for all you FPS gamers, and I'm happy to report that ROG OLED gaming monitors are perfect for you. You can easily adjust a spray ratio to cast a 24-inch, 27-inch, and 34-inch image to through the game journal, and you can vertical shift the image to your ideal viewing position. Audio OLED gaming monitors include impressive range of connectivity options, including DisplayPort 1.4 with DSC support, HDMI 2.1, 3.5mm audio output with Speedy, a USB hub, and we also include a tripod socket on the top of monitor. And to make things easy for users, a UI navigation joystick is located under the monitors. Of course, remote control is also included. And let's talk about the audio. We have leveled up the audio features. Each OLED gaming monitors features Hammer Carton certified speakers, including two 10 watt front speakers and one 15 watt woofer at the rear. All of this means that's incredible. Sound effects are just another part of incredible package. Besides our ROG OLED gaming monitors, we are also releasing 27-inch and 32-inch fast IPS gaming monitor for users. They prefer a more compact option for the desktop. The 27-inch ROG Swift PG27UQR and 32-inch Strix XG32UQ. Both feature 4K 160Hz refresh rate. They are unlocked to one millisecond grid create response time and support variable refresh rate technology. And for color performance, they can cover over 95% of DCI-P3 color gamma and they are VESA display HDR600 compliance. And to ensure that you can enjoy latest console games, each monitor has HDR 2.1 that supports full 48 Gbps bandwidth and native 4K 120Hz visual. And last but not least, I would also like to know that ROG offer a QHD gaming monitors, 32-inch ROG Strix XG32AQ. And these are our latest gaming monitors today give users options for every type of AM5 build. Over to you, Chris. Thank you very much, Paul. Yeah. All of this great new hardware really allows us to have it all. Our X670 e motherboard lineup, power supply, AIO coolers, Wi-Fi products, and gaming monitors. And we had, it, we had you with us tonight. And thanks for being part of our journey to bring you the products which fits your needs and incorporate perfectly with your ecosystem. Our press conference will end here, but we have more for you. Um, join us tomorrow at 4 p.m. CST for our RG fan event. And don't forget to uh, follow our social media channels for more product news. AMD is just arrived, and we will show you more models and features very, very soon. Thanks again for joining us tonight, and have a good night. Thank you.
Child, don't forget who you are. Don't lose your head or your heart. I bet my life on your start. You'll be dancing, dancing on the moon.